Alright, I'm back with another Destiny 2 video. Uh, there were a couple different things I almost did today. I was going to make a video about the second Festival of the Lost nerf until it was revealed as being allegedly unintentional. And then I was going to do a TWAB video, but I don't know if there's enough in the TWAB to do a full video about it. Um, the TWAB is essentially solo trials is happening this weekend. They are doing a Halloween costume contest, which rivals my own <laughs> Halloween costume contest. Uh, I didn't think they were going to be doing one because they already have Threads of Light going on. But sure enough, they are, uh, which is fine. I have a bazillion entries and um, mine is a little different. Mine was like, I wanted really scary costumes and Bungie's is like whatever costumes. So enter both. Uh, you can win the old fashioned emblem, the emblem I always wear uh, for winning that contest. Uh, and they're making it different than Threads of Light. So go for it. Uh, the only actual news I saw was they indicated um, Dune Marcher nerf. This is all stuff coming in, I think, the December patch. Dune Marcher nerf, Mythoclast Aim Assist nerf, uh, and then pass on some underused exotics. They hinted that I think Whisper of the Worm is getting a buff. They made some sort of whisper pun, uh, so who knows what's happening with that. So maybe it'll be a special weapon instead of heavy now. That is how it is, right? I don't remember anyway so i there wasn't much actual actual news in here which i'm not super surprised about um and then just kind of the they went over the patch today which fixed some things like corrupted's elevator won't screw up as much anymore and things like that uh so what happened earlier today was um i the first place i saw this was bontis he wrote that after the hot fix today you would run a public event heroic or normal and that would now only give you one page and less candy as well. And this made everyone lose their minds again. Um, I was just kind of laughing about it because it was so absurd uh, that Bungie had nerfed yet another farm for Festival of the Lost. Um, but by the time I'm recording this, DMG has come out and clarified that this was some sort of unintentional change that had to do with them reverting the change they did to the nightfall like where they nerfed the nightfall and now it doesn't need to be nerfed anymore and i, I don't really know what happened here um i am a little suspicious that maybe this was a change they had like kind of planned but then like maybe weren't gonna do like it is very suspicious that as soon as they nerfed the other sources of page farming um last week that immediately everyone was saying that farming public events was the best way to get pages now, pages and candy, and then sure enough, the next hot fix that gets nerfed. Um, that would be one hell of a coincidence. That was purely accidental. So I don't, I don't know, whatever. I, I don't know what happened there, but um, it is probably going to be reverted at some point. But for now, it is uh, not a good source of page farm because one page per public event is terrible. Uh, the main point of this video is I want to talk about a farm that I think is unnerfable for the rest of the event. Um, for pages, I give up on pages. I mean, I don't even, it, it's paid, the page distribution is so all over the place at this point and they nerfed all the clearly best sources and now you can't even do public events as the clearly best uh, source. Technically, it might be like the shortest type of crucible match that's live at any given time is the best thing for pages. But what I found through farming is like, you will, you will almost certainly finish, I would say, the pages before you will finish the candy if you're trying to like 100% the event. Um, it took, in my personal experience, it took a lot longer to finish out getting thousands and thousands of candy to get the higher end masks. I think the last mask is Sweeper Bot and it's like 7,800 candy by itself. Like the last masks are like five, six, seven thousand 7,000 candy. Uh, and to me, that takes a, a long time because a lot of stuff does not really give you a super significant amount of candy. Um, even the stuff that was like pretty good page farms, it didn't give you like tons and tons of candy. Um, so the best unnerfable farm, I think, for the rest of this event is Astral Alignment. And uh, that gives you, I don't know how many pages it gives you. It's an okay page farm too, I guess, like not compared to shorter things maybe, but I think it gives you like four or five pages per thing. So if you're running this with candy, you will also rack up pages at the same time. Uh, Astral gives you, and this is normal Astral, not Legend Astral. Never do Legend Astral for any reason, <laughs> other than one time to get the the Triumph as we've been over. Um, I didn't actually look to see how much candy and pages it gives you, but I, I can just tell you right now it is not going to be worth it. Regular Astral, which can be done in plus or minus 10 minutes, uh, depending on your group. If you really want to speed run it with buddies, you 
can get that way down, I'm sure. Uh, but that will give you, I think, about 600 candy at baseline. And then the way it works is uh, you will you will collect all the candy that's on the ground to, like, even if you don't run over the candy and pick it up, it will go to your Postmaster. So I would finish uh, Astral and see, like, 100, 200 candy in the Postmaster. Um, depending on what you're running um, and, and how many things you kill or, or whatever, I would say this can give you a total from anywhere from, like, 700 to even... 800, 900 candy per run uh, between how much it gives you a baseline and then how much you can collect from the ground. Uh, I think the last week, last week was better because it had the boss where it had all the clones. Every clone you kill, which takes like one bullet, drops a piece of candy that's worth five candies <laughs> because the higher tier bosses give you um, more candy. So you would just kill all those and you'd get like 30 candy every boss wave just from that. Uh, the ogre is live right now, so that is not not quite as good, uh, but still pretty good. Um, so that I think is the the best candy farm in the game. I ran a bunch of those to finish out my last few masks I needed. I think this is unnerfable because it's not super fast. Like it, it you know, this is a still a ten minute activity. There is no, as far as I know, there's no real way to cheese your way through this quickly other than just going really really fast by doing the objectives correctly, which is like how it's supposed to be played. Uh, you can, like, burst the ogre boss down pretty quickly if you, like, time the take and blight things right or whatever. But even then, it's, it's that's, I wouldn't call that cheese. Um, maybe Bunchy would, but I, I wouldn't. So I, I don't think it's it's like the, uh, the Wrathborn hunts where those are, like, three-minute activities where you can do 45-second boss farms or things like that. Or, like, expunge jump skips or uh, the... the uh, take and strike that everyone knows, Lake of Shadows that everyone knows is like 10 minutes faster than every other strike. Um, it's something like that. It is a normal activity that just gives a good amount of candy for the time. Uh, and then there are so many enemies and so many bosses that you would get bonus candy that would go to your postmaster. It is also the core seasonal activity. And I think Bungie wants to encourage people to be engaging with the current season's content and they want to see people running Astral. Uh, people are not going to be running Astral to farm it in Legend because... The loot sucks, so if they can at least run it um, for candy and pages and stuff, I don't know why they would nerf that farm. So we only have, what, two weeks left in this event. I think it is a pretty safe bet to really only um, farm Astral, like if, if you're looking for candy especially, but as you are getting your candy up there, I would be surprised if you didn't end up with enough pages in the end uh, to convert those and then get your, your page drops and your weapon drops from... Uh, the Haunted Lost Sectors. So that is my kind of fundamental advice for the event. I don't know if there will be any more. I mean, there's only two weeks left. If they still try and nerf things, like, I, I don't even get that. So I, I, I finished all the page stuff before the, the first set of nerfs even happened, so it didn't even affect me. All it's doing is, like, <laughs> players who weren't, like, quite as hardcore about it at first, like, it kind of screwed them over. But if you're trying to 100% the event, I think you will finish pages before Candy so you might as well just kind of kill two birds with one stone and farm astrals if you can tolerate astrals if you're sick of astrals i also don't blame you because um those can get kind of super repetitive and they're not very rewarding if you ask me but um i don't know so that's just my kind of probably my final piece of festival of the lost advice i have to give here uh i still think it's goofy they nerfed all that other stuff in the first place because like who, who cares if people finish pages on day two or day 14 like I don't know if it matters. Um, the indications from the TWAB is like, yeah, we are heading into a very quiet period here. They said they weren't even going to talk about the the sandbox changes or anything for December until like late November. There's nothing else on the calendar. We, we really don't have anything else going on uh, that we know about for November. So this might just be trials experiments and Iron Banner and that kind of stuff for a couple weeks. Obviously, November, there is a ton of games coming out in that window. So play something else for a month. Uh, if if there's not a ton to do in Destiny and you don't want to work on backlog titles or loot grinding or whatever. So anyway, um, I got through this whole thing without mentioning the dungeon thing, which Budgie has not talked about and did not address in the TWAB and has issued no further comments about. So maybe that is just over. I mean, it wasn't exactly news news, like cause considering they kind of talked about this a while ago, but if they are going to alter that in any way, they have not... Uh, indicated so so anyway that's uh where we're at here and they did not purposely nerf stuff this time but it is nerfed all the same 
Uh, so do not run public events anymore for, for this thing. I don't know when that will come back. If it does, I, this whole event has just been super goofy. But um, I like all the cosmetics. I like uh, Haunted Sectors. And I talked long enough that Evie got in the room. All right. But thanks you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Take care.